guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to solve day 25 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so today i am going to solve problem number 2370 longest ideal subsequence okay so in this problem we have given one string of lowercase letters only okay and an integer k we call a string t ideal if the following conditions are satisfied okay so these two conditions are given to us first condition is the new string t is a subsequence of the string s okay and the absolute difference in the alphabet order of every two adjacent letters in a t is less than or equal to k okay so here see this is a string given to us and k is equal to 2 okay so from a if i go to c then tell me what is the absolute difference between a and c okay so this absolute difference between a and c is nothing but 2 right absolute difference i am talking about absolute difference okay you so it is equal to 2 okay so if it is less than or equal to k then we can include this okay so a and c are going to be the part of my subsequent string okay so in this way we have to form the longest string okay longest ideal string okay so these two conditions are given to us and then in the end we have to just return the length of the longest ideal string okay so what is subsequence a subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining characters okay and here note that the alphabet order is not cycling for example the absolute difference in the alphabet orders of a and z is 25 note 1 okay so this is clear okay so now let's uh, try to understand this problem using uh, example number one okay so let's, let me copy this example one here okay so this is the example one given to us right so here this is a string right so here let me write it like this this is my string right string is equal to this is my string right a and then we have c then we have f okay then we have g and then we have b and then in the end we have d right so I can say that this a is at index 0 of my string this c is at index 1 and so on right okay so this is clear so first we are going to calculate the length of my string okay so what is the length of my string length of my string is nothing but 6 right and then let's create one array okay so let's create one array so we have to uh, fine for this t right so here let's name it t t only okay so let me name it t only and here let's create this t of same length as of my string s okay this is clear then after that i am going to fill all the indexes by one okay so this is also clear right okay so this is done so now what i am going to do here I am going to start iterating from my first uh, this zeroth index okay so initially my both i and j both are at this particular index okay so I am going to run one loop okay so here I am going to run one loop okay so here I am going to run one loop for int i is equal to 0 okay i is less than n and i plus plus okay two nested loops i'm going to run okay so this is one and then after that one j loop j is also go going to start from zero and j is going to run less than i okay and j plus plus okay so these two nested loops i'm going to run okay so here initially uh, both my i and j both are at same index okay so then uh, this first time this loop will not execute because my j is running less than i right 
so both i and j is equal to zero then it's not going to run so after that my i is going to move forward okay after that my i is going to move forward so now my i is at this position okay so now what i'm going to check my i is at this position okay and j is again going to run from zero to i okay so now i am going to check the absolute difference between this zero and this i okay so here i have to check for the okay so if i want to write it i can write it like this if math dot absolute difference between a string dot character at at i okay so i am uh, writing it in shortcut form okay so this is nothing but s dot caret index i okay or you can write s dot caret index j okay so i am going to check for the absolute difference between these two particular indexes and if the absolute difference is less than equal to k okay if the absolute difference is less than equal to k then we have to perform some steps okay so here i am going to check if the absolute difference is less than equal to k so k is nothing but 2 okay so right now we know uh, in alphabetical form a b c d okay so a is at index 0 b is at index 1 c is at index 2 d is index 3 and uh, e is at index uh, 4 okay f is at index 5 and g is at index 6 right and so on and z is at index 25 right we know this thing right so here i am going to check what is the difference uh, between these two uh, characters a and c so it is less than equal to k right so if this is less than equal to k then what i am going to do i am going to update this value okay my i is at this position so i am going to update this value to 2 right initially it was 1 so i have added one more value okay 1 and 2 1 plus 1 2 okay because we know that this is one substring in which uh, this uh, this is a new substring which satisfied both the both these conditions t is a subsequence of this and the absolute difference in the alphabet order of every two adjacent letters in t is less than or equal to k okay so this thing we, we are clear right so now my j is going to run until here only okay so next time my i is going to reach uh, is uh, my i is going to reach at this position and j is again going to run from this position to this position okay j is go again going to run for both the indexes okay so when my i is at this position then my j is at this position okay so f and a so what is the difference between f and a, a? f5 0 so this difference is greater than my k right so this is not going to this not ideal case right so now my j is going to move forward and see difference between c and f is also greater than 2 right 5 minus 2 is 3 right so difference is greater than 2 so I'm, I'm not going to include okay so this is done okay so there is no change in f and f is just alone 1 okay so i is uh, showing nothing but the max length of the substring that we have formed until this index okay so until c we have formed this substring right until c we have formed this substring a c right and here at a uh, string and sub substring and at this index so max string is nothing but a here okay so max max substring which is ending at this particular index is nothing but f only right here we have formed ac right which is a ideal ideal substring okay then after that my i reaches at this position okay my when my i reaches at this position then my j again going to run for all these indexes okay all three indexes so g minus a difference is greater than 2 so i don't need to do anything g minus c difference greater than 2 i don't need to do anything g minus f g is 6 f f is at 5 position right so here the difference is less than equal to 2 right so what i'm going to do what is the value uh, what is the value there in my uh, f okay so this is a value okay so in this value i have to add one more so now my g will become 2 okay so now my g will become 2 and the max substring which is ending at this index is f and g okay so i hope that this is clear f and g then my i reaches at this particular position 
okay when now my i reaches at this particular position so my j is going to run until here okay from 0 to 3 okay my i is at 4 so j is going to run from 0 to 3 okay so b and a b now b okay b a difference is less than equal to 2 right so yes it is going to form one string okay so what is the value there at a at this index 0 1 so 1 plus 1 okay so this is go, be, going to become 2 okay now after that c and b okay now my j reaches at this position okay so c and b so at this particular c we are already storing this string a c right and this string is length is 2 okay and c and b we know the difference between c and b is less than equal to 2 right so 2 plus 1 okay because now we are going to add this one as well now because we know at this particular index we, we know that this string already exists and I found one more value one more character which is satisfying this C okay so now I have to uh, add just one a C it is already there now I have to add this index so now it will become 3 right it will become 3 right so what is the max string that I have found in this index a C and B right this is the max string that I have found right so I am storing 3 here then again I am going to check for f and b so f and b difference is greater than 2 for g and b great, uh, difference is greater than 2 so I don't need to do anything okay so now my r uh, in the end my i reaches at this position okay when my i reaches at this position then my j is going to run from 0 to 4th index okay so d and a what is the difference between d and a so difference is greater than 2 so I don't need to do anything D and C after D and C what is the difference between D and C so this is less than equal to 2 right and in 3 I have found one string AC already okay so if I add this D in AC then it will become ACD right so 2 plus this is, uh, 2 is already there 2 plus 1 now it will become 3 and I am storing string here A C D okay so this is done after that my j is going to reach this position f and d so f and d difference is less than equal to 2 uh, here it's 1 so, okay so if i add one more here 1 plus 1 2 so i'm not going to add 2 here because here i have to store the max only okay so i'm not going to store then i'm going to compare g and d okay difference is greater than 2 i don't need to do anything here b and d okay in b and d see difference is less than equal to 2 right and here this string already exists 3 is already there so in this 3 difference is less than equal to 2 that that is why I am going to add 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 okay okay so here I am going to add 4 because this 3 is already there ACB so in now in a this ACB I am going to add D okay so now my new string become ACBD okay so here I am operating 4 so I hope that you guys are clear right a c b d okay so now see what is the longest ideal string that we have formed max length we have got four here okay and we have to return in then this max length so longest ideal string is nothing but a b c d right and the length of this string is four okay so see here uh, what is going to be a time complexity if i am going to perform these operations okay yeah, all these operations so time complexity is going to be o of n square right this is clear only because we are running nested loops right again and again so time complexity is going to be O of n square. So if you guys try to write the code for this same thing and run the program, definitely it is going to give TLE error. Okay, time limit exceed error. Okay, and see here why it is going to time lim give time limit exceed error because see the length of the string is 10 raised to the power 5. Okay, so here uh, you can refer this code. Okay, I run the same code. I run this same code. Okay, you can try to run it. Okay, so this code is solving 74 test cases out of 85 and it is giving time limit exceeded error okay okay so i hope that you guys are clear that why we are not going to solve our problem using this okay actually this logic we can use this same logic to solve uh, this question uh, i think it should be there right so you can try to solve this question using the same logic that i have explained okay longest increasing solve sequence so actually this is important step okay this is important to know okay so now let's understand how we are going to solve uh, this question okay with some optimization okay 
so this is our approach one okay and in approach one we are going to get this error okay so this is done right so now let's understand the way how we are going to solve this problem this is some better technique okay so let me copy this example here So see here uh, how many uh, okay so here see uh, we our string s is consisting of lowercase letters only okay so I know that uh, if this is my some string okay if this is a string and there are some uh, alphabets if I write alphabets okay so my a is at this position right my a is at this position this zeroth index my b is at this position right my C is at this position index number 2 my D is at this position index number 3 my E is at in this position index number 4 my F is at this position index 5 my G is at this position index number 6 my H is at this position index number I uh, sorry <laughs> index number 7 right and I is at index number J index number 8 okay and so on and z is at this particular index okay 25 okay this with this thing we already know right and now k is k given to us is 2 right k given to us is 2 here okay in this example so first what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one array okay and this array is going to have the length as 26 okay so I am going to create one array and this array is going to have of length 26 okay 0 1 2 index 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on until 25th index okay so I am going to create one uh, array okay and uh, initially my result is going to be 0 okay we have to just return the result okay so here what I am going to do here uh, I have to create one ideal string okay I have to create one ideal string this thing you guys already know okay so if I want to form a ideal string okay let's say in my ideal string this D is there okay this D is there this d is there and after that there is one alphabet okay there is one character okay so and k is equal to k is equal to 2 okay k is equal to 2 given to us okay so uh for this uh, next character to be ideal for this uh, next character to be ideal it should be in this space only right in this space only okay because my k is equal to 2 okay so if i do like this d 3 minus 1 okay then it is 2 okay i can't do 3 minus 0 then it is it is 3 then i am not going to form an ideal uh, substring okay so for d the ideal characters are in this available space only right i why why do i have to search for g h i i have to ignore all these indexes okay because my k is equal to 2 okay then uh, i have to check uh check with between these alphabets only okay so let's say this is my left and this is my right okay so i have to check in this particular window only okay okay so i hope that this thing is clear okay so for d i am i am trying to find my next ideal character okay and k is equal to 2 given to us okay so definitely uh, the next character if it is ideal then definitely it should it 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 could be b it could be c it could be d it could be e it could be f okay out of these five characters if any character is available then only my string will become uh, ideal okay substring will become ideal why do i have to search for g h i because all these characters are not going to form my ideal string right longest ideal string right so i hope that this is one important point okay so i hope that this is clear okay so we have to just search for this window only why do i have to search for g h and i okay for d okay so this is one important step okay so what i'm going to do 
first uh, I am going to find um, where my character is located okay so where my character is located this is the first thing okay so I have to find the index of my current character and then after that I have to find my left and my right okay what is my left and what is right, my right because in this particular window I have to write okay and then in that particular window I have to find the longest okay longest longest path that I have formed till now okay so let's understand this with example only okay so initially this uh, this is my uh, string right AC so initially what I'm going to do let's do that do one thing initially let's store zero zero in every index zero is available at all the indexes okay zero is available at all these indexes okay so now a is there okay so now my a now i am going to check for this a okay so for this a okay so first first of all uh, where this a is located a is located at this particular index zero and what is going to be the left of this a so left of this a is going to be minus two okay but uh, it is uh, out of bound right why i have to search from here okay so here what i am going to do here for left I'm going to write this condition okay for left I'm going to write this condition math dot max and math dot max 0 okay or the current okay the current where my a is okay so so current element where my a is minus k okay so this is going to give the max okay so if I am going to return the max value okay so for a it is out of bounds so from 0 only I have to search right for b I have to search from 0 only okay for c I have to search from 0 only for d I have to search from b okay because this curve minus k is 1 and this is maximum 3 minus 1 right is 2 right so I hope that this is how I am going to find a uh, left okay I hope that this is clear and same way for right uh, max index uh, you know max index is 25 only okay so here in the right I have to write like this math dot mean of 25 and curve plus k okay I don't want 27 here okay I don't want 25 20 I don't want 26 27 I want 25 as max okay 25 as mean okay in this case here I don't want, want my starting point below before zero okay so starting point is always zero and then i can pick for one max value okay so for d like we know one for c it is going to zero obviously two minus zero for one it is not going to start from minus one it is going to start from zero then okay so i hope that this is clear okay we have spent so much time for this okay so now now uh, i have to let's create one variable longest in longest i have to store okay so here from left to right okay for a for a i am going to search in this window only right in in this window only for a a b c in this window only right because my right is math dot min this is dot okay math dot min 25 and cur plus k is nothing but 0 plus 2 that is 3 0 plus 2 is 2 so 25 and 2 which is minimum 2 okay so in this particular window only i have to search okay this window only okay so in this window uh, this is my left and this is my right okay for the first case okay so in this window maximum longest is zero okay all the elements in the starting is zero only okay all the elements in the starting is zero only okay so what i'm going to do uh, after uh, finding that all the elements are zero only after in the end because if this single a is existing okay if this single a is there then i'm going to just modify it as one okay one because this a is there now if this just a is there for this particular a if this is only there then i'm going to modify it as one because it exists now in itself right so here i'm modifying it to one okay then after that i'm going to search for c okay so for c what is the window for c this is going to be my window right uh, i am marking it in blue color for this c this is going to be my window right a b c d e this is going to be my window okay right c 2 plus 2 4 okay this is going to be window so from one from left to right again i have to search what is the maximum longest so longest is one right longest is one from a to c 
from a to this 4 0 to this 4 longest is 1 only okay this one only all other elements are showing 0 so what I'm going to do in this index okay in this current index where my C is here I am going to store 1 okay here I am going to store 2 and what is the reason for storing 2 here okay so longest is 1 longest is 1 because of this a and then C is in itself okay longest is 1 in this particular window what is the longest longest is 1 and then in this one I am adding 1 because of this C okay so now 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 right so here I am adding C add, adding 2 okay so this simply means A and this 2 simply means AC right AC is a valid answer now nah? AC is a valid answer right AC is a valid answer now after it I am going to search for F okay for F what is the window for F this is the window now nah? D2 for f this is the window d2 d2 this h right for f this is the window d2 one second one second d2 h okay so d2 h that is 3 index from 3 to 7 index everything is 0 okay so everything is 0 so f in itself okay so i am just going to modify it as 1 okay so f is modified i have modified f as one then for g we are going to check for g this is the window from four to eight okay so longest is one because of this f so in this f if i add this g then it will become two okay longest is one one plus 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 of this g that is two so here this will become two okay now after that my i is at this position b okay so in b what is the window Fro window is in nothing but from a from 0 it is going to start from 0 to 3 okay from 0 to 3 what is the longest longest is 2 so in 2 plus i am adding b so it will become 3 right so now i think you guys are clear right so a c and then b okay so longest is 2 already there right so this will become 3 then for d what is the window so for 3 this is the window na 1 2 5 okay and what is the longest in 1 to 5 so longest is 3 from left to right so 3 plus this d is 4 right so my string is a c b d and this is going to be my output okay so this is very easy right this code is very easy right so for this our time complexity is going to be of and only okay so now let's write the code okay so i hope that you guys are already clear with the things that i've explained with code you guys will get more clarity okay so code is going to be very simple this previous code is also very simple but this is more simple okay so now let's write the code so here first of all let's calculate the length of my string this is the normal thing that we do right so this is string so i have to calculate the length like this then we have to create one substring right so here it is saying t is the subsequence so let's create t only so int t is equal to and uh, give the length as uh, 26 0 to 25 26 elements right 20 characters assuming lowercase letters only right and then uh, we have to store our result somewhere so int result is equal to 0 right and then run one loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and then after that current element how we are going to access the current element index so simple s dot care at index but this particular index i minus a okay so this is just going to give me a, a number right where my uh, current character is located so if my this is a so a minus a character so it is going to give 0 if it is c c minus a character it is going to give me 2 right c is at 2 a is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so 2 c the c c is there in character 2 uh, in index 2 that's it now we have to search for left and right same way same thing that i am going to write for left and right here this code only okay int left is equal to math dot max 0 and occur minus k and same before my right 
I have to turn math dot min from this max value that is 25 and cur plus k I have to return for the minimum value that's it this is done right and then one longest okay so longest uh, path that I have formed so int l o n longest path it is equal to zero then run one loop okay so this loop is going to start from my left and it is going until my right and j plus plus okay and in this loop i have to just find the longest what is my longest for that particular numbers so my longest is equal to math dot max value uh, that i'm going to find uh, in if it is already there in the my longest and t of my t is my string side t of j okay so if the longest uh, value is there then i have to pick that uh, okay so t of j and this is done okay then after that just few things are pending just two lines two or three lines maybe t of my current okay t of my current is equal to my longest in this longest i am adding one every time because of the uh, if if character in itself okay if it is there so i have adding one okay and after that uh, i have to return my result so my result is equal to nothing but math dot max of result and then t of car okay so it is going to store the my result here and in the end just return result that's it return result now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues or not so all the test cases has been accepted right so now let's submit the code so see our solution is accepted right and it beats 97 percent of users with java right approximately 97 percent of users with java so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video and don't forget to like this video share this video with your colleagues and friends and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye bye meet you in the next video